What's going on? Got a pretty big update for the Mustang, at least in my opinion. Um, so if you remember a few videos back, I picked up some uh, 2004 Mustang GT seats. Um, I'll show you a comparison to the, this is the factory 68. 68 seat, it's gonna fall over, but you get the idea. So as you can see, there's no bolstering whatsoever. It's just a flat back, flat bottom. Um, so what I wanted was something that was close to factory, um, still Ford and uh, had more bolstering. So this is what uh, I had decided on. This is, uh, like I said, out of a 2004 Mustang. So my goal was to uh, either use the 2004 seat rails and tracks or somehow get the old seat rails and tracks and put them onto the new seat and somehow get it mounted into the chassis. Well, I did it. And it actually wasn't too bad, just a lot of trial and error. It's not bolted down yet, so it's just, but that's that's pretty much how it looks. I am super happy with it. Um, like I said, my main reason for doing this was the, um, if you take the headrest off from the little seat belt, a uh, little holder thing that sits right there on the 04 Gen, I can't remember, was it the SN95? I don't know, I'm not a Mustang guy. <laughs> But um, out of the 04, if you take those off, it literally looks like the factory seat because it's just rounded over. A uh, factory seat out of a, a 60s Mustang. Um, and it has more bolstering. So it's literally perfect, in my opinion, if you don't want racing bucket seats. I'm 5'11", uh, like 230 pounds. So fitting in a bucket seat is super fucking annoying and it's just not comfortable. Um, so this is an alternative for you guys that are looking for something better. I will say... Being 5'11", um, I still feel pretty cramped leg-wise, and I have the seat all the way back on the factory 68 rail, and that's that's as far back as it goes. So if you're any taller than 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 you're going to need the, uh, the rail extenders, which I might even get those myself, but I'm just stoked to have gotten this far, <laughs> honestly. Um, so what I did was... See if I can, super easy once you look at it. So the factory brackets and rails off of the 60s seat will mount, um, you can use this hole. So use the bottom hole on the, um, out of the four on the, uh, the 04 generation seat. And then you'll want to drill your own uh, hole down here. So wherever the uh, the bracket lands down here for the 68, you're gonna drill your hole right there and then you're just gonna put a bolt through and you can spin a nut um, back behind here. And that's how you're gonna mount the, the seat rails to your, uh, to your 04 seat. Super easy. Uh, once you get it apart, you'll, you'll figure it out. Um, it was a little harder for me because I, Foolishly got a power seat from the 04, so it has a different um, uh, a different seat, uh, what would you call it? A seat frame, I guess. It's a different frame. It's like sat on top of the, the motorized shit, so it took me a little longer, but it's still doable. Same concept, so if you do get a power seat, just uh, take your time, and uh, it, it'll be a little finicky. Um, it'll also be harder to maneuver the seat forward and backward. Um, just due to the the difference with the uh, uh, electric seat rail. So best case scenario would be to get a manual driver's seat, but if not, you're not out of luck. So let me know if you have any questions. I know that was uh, super glossed over, but it's it's really easier than you think it would be. The holes match up. The, uh, the distance between each side of the seats is the same, so you don't have to worry about that measurement. Just get your hole and drill your, uh, uh, mount the uh, seat rail, the top bolts, and then just get a level out and make sure it's level and then drill your hole down here, which with the seat rail level, that's all you have to do. Cause it's like 14 or 14 and a half inches apart and it's the same on that seat. So it's gonna mount into the chassis exactly how your factory seat mounted. So yeah, 
Um, there's probably next to no videos on this. I would imagine there might be. I haven't really searched, so I figured I'd make this video uh, and get it out there for people that uh, are thinking about seat options for their 60s Mustang and don't want to uh, fork out a bunch of money for a bucket seat and lose the com comfortability. <laughs> lose the... Uh, lose the comfortable feeling of the factory seat, of a factory Mustang seat. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Like I said, uh, hit me in the comments if you have any questions and I'll do my best to uh, get back to you. So later. I lied, I got one more thing to show you guys besides the seat. So if you're familiar with older cars, you'd know oh, that um, usually the cluster lights are either burnt out or super dim i went ahead and put um leds from superbrightleds.com in there they are they're the color temperature is called super white um probably close to like a 6000 k or 5500k color um so i put them in and turned them on but what i noticed was they had a super like it wasn't dim but it was a still dull bluish color and that was because on the inside of the gauge faces, uh, behind the gauges, in front of the backing plate, uh, Ford or whomever put blue uh, little cups over the lights. Uh, so that gives it a blue tint. So like your, your indicators and all that stuff come up blue. Well, I wanted white. So I went ahead and opened up the cluster and you can actually uh, they're just literally screwed in with a screw. So you just take the screw out and pop the cup off and the and then the um, The LEDs are just free out and not covered by anything and this is what they look like So yeah Much better if I turned them on with the factory lights, you wouldn't be able to see anything It would look like the lights aren't on right now. I'm in my super bright ass garage with LEDs everywhere um, so But yeah, you can tell the difference when I, you see how much light emits when I turn them on. So yeah, huge difference there. I would highly recommend doing that. It's very easy to do. Um, let me see if I have the box in here still. Do, 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 do. I do not. Um, I'll go ahead and put the uh, the part numbers in the in the description of this video because I I put the box in the recycling and threw all the trash away apparently so yeah that was the last thing I wanted to show you guys I'm just slowly working on stuff now oh here's the patch panel I have not welded it yet it's just self tapped in right now but yeah obviously way better than holes <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I didn't really plan this video out, so sorry it's kind of all over the place. I just have been working on the Mustang and uh, figured I'd just make a little video and show you guys where I'm at right now. Um, still haven't sanded anymore. I wanted to take a break from that because it was super tiring, so that's probably what I might start on next. Although now that the interior is getting closer to completion and I got the seat figured out, which I was afraid was gonna take me forever. Thank God it didn't. I might open this carpet up. This is a factory style mass back carpet, super stoked. It's black, um, pretty much like a factory type setup. I also have a bunch of sound deadening that I found <laughs> that I just didn't use for a different build. So I'm putting that in random spots. So I might go ahead and do this because I really want to see the interior back together, um, especially with the seat. Oh man, I'm so stoked. So yeah, won't drag it out any longer. I will see you guys in the next video, which will be sooner than you think. Later. Okay, bonus footage. <laughs> I didn't feel right um, not showing you guys the true output of the lights. So in my garage, besides the TV, I blacked out all the lights. So here we go. Boom. I wish I had a before for you, but if you're uh, well-versed with old cars, you'll know how dim the gauges usually are. And this is like a perfect brightness. This is all the way up. I can dim it.
dim it down, that's off, and then back on. And that is full brightness. So very happy with it, very happy with the color output. Um, this is perfect, it's not overbearing. It's literally the perfect uh, light output. So yeah, hope you guys like it as much as I do.